today I will show you how to use the farm computer to knit these adorable baby booties. The program and the instructions will be in the description box. First make sure the racking handle is in its lowest position. After you enter the program the computer will tell you to make the custom. You need to raise 26 needles on the front bed. Place the edge springs on the last working needles. Now raise 26 needles on the back bed. You have to observe the needle rule. Set both locks to N and the stitch size to 4.5. Don't forget to attach the magnet for the farm computer to the back lock. Insert the orange strippers and take the yarn. I'm using two strands of acrylic yarn. Rotate the racking handle one full turn anti-clockwise and knit one row. Rotate the racking handle one full turn clockwise and knit one row to finish the cast on. Now we have to make the cuff. Set both locks to AX. Raise pushers under the working needles on the front bed and arrange them in one-to-one -one division. Then raise the pushers on the back bed, arrange them in one-to-one -one division and knit four rows. At flashing 7 we have to set the back lock to end, then put all pushers in working position on the front bed and knit six rows. Now we have to increase one stitch on each bed on the side of the lock. Remove the edge springs, use the double decker tool and transfer the two end stitches on each bed one needle to the right. Then leave the empty needles in working position. On the front bed raise one pusher under the rightmost needle. Knit one row and increase one stitch on each bed the same way. Remove the edge springs, use the double decker tool and transfer the two end stitches on each bed one needle to the left. Then leave the empty needles in working position. On the front bed raise one pusher under the leftmost needle. Knit one row and continue increasing the same way until there are 42 working needles on each bed. While I'm transferring the stitches you can support me by liking the video or leaving me a comment below. I hope I can make more videos with the farm computer soon. Now I'm making the last increase. Don't forget to send me photos of your projects on my Facebook page, I will be happy to see them. At flashing gate we have to set the machine to knit according to the pattern. Arrange the pushers on the front bed in one to one division. Now we have to knit 24 rows. Two rows without the left arrow key and two rows with the left arrow key pressed. I will leave the whole process so you can see everything. You can see how the display of the farm computer is counting down the rows.
At flushing 9 you have to set the front lock to N in knit 8 rows. Flushing 5 means that you are ready. You can press the Go key to start the program again and need the second booty or you can turn off the computer. To make the cast off increase the stitch size to 5 only on the back lock. Move the lock to the color changer and remove the edge springs. Attach weights at both ends of the booty. Rotate the racking handle to the transferring position. Place the U70 lock on the left and slide it to transfer all stitches to the front bed. Check for any dropped stitches then rotate the racking handle to its lowest position. Place the edge springs back on the last working needles and make sure the latches are closed. Now knit one row and lower the front bed. Use the yellow tool and make a simple chain stitch cast off. Then raise the front bed, take off the weights and remove the knitted piece from the machine. It should look like this. That model has holes for a eye cord. Now you have to sew it as shown in the video. That's how it should look like. Now I will take the eye cord and thread it into the holes. And that's the final result. Do you like it? That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day and see you in my next video.